Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations, we'll be solving one very interesting quartic equation with factorial notation. Let's get started by expanding LHS 9x plus 9 times x factorial. It should be equal to x power 4. Take away 9x from both sides. So 9 times x factorial. This will be equal to x power 4 minus 9x. Now I will use recursive formula. So recursive formula is recursive formula. n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. So I will write here 9 times x times x minus 1 factorial. It is equal to if I will take x common then I can write here x cube minus 9. Okay. Now you can see x we can cancel. But before that we have to check it should not be the solution of original equation. Okay. So let us find out what will happen at x is equal to 0. So our left hand side of the original equation, this equation, it is 0 plus 0 factorial equal to 0 power 4. So 0 is 0, 0 factorial is 1. So left hand side is 9, right hand side is 0. That means x is not solution of this equation. Okay. X is not solution of this equation. So we can divide both sides with X. So I will cancel. This is the outcome of argument. Now what is left? 9 times X minus 1 factorial equal to X cube minus 9. Now minus 9 I can split minus 1 minus 8. Now I can see one identity a cube minus b cube. So I will write a minus b. So here I can write x minus 1. In second bracket I can write a square plus b square. So x square plus 1 plus x or x square plus x plus 1 minus 8. 9 times x minus 1 factorial. Now again I will use recursive formula here for factorial notation. So I can write 9 times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial equal to x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1 minus 8. Now you can see if I will divide this equation with x minus 1. So x equal to 1 should not be solution of this equation. Let's check. So our original equations left hand side I will put x equal to 1. 1 plus 1 factorial so 1 equal to 1 power 4. So 1 factorial is 1 to 18. Is 18 equal to 1? No. So here x is not equal to 1. So I can divide both sides with x minus 1. So if I will divide both sides with x minus 1, then I will do like that. Now see what will happen. This term will be over. Here this term will be over. So what is left ultimately? 9 times x minus 2 factorial is equal to x square plus x plus 1 minus 8 over x minus 1. Okay, this is something very very important in the context of problem solving. Now what we will do? We have to find out the value of x. So again we will, we will think about how to solve or how to substitute. So I will give substitution here x minus 2 equal to y. Let me write here the equation 9 times 
x minus 2 factorial is equal to x square plus x plus 1 minus 8 over x minus 1. Done. Now I will give substitution which is x minus 2 is equal to y. So let me write here x minus 2 equal to y. So I need to find out x minus 1 also. So from here I can conclude x is equal to y plus 2. Okay. So x minus 1 will be y plus 1. These values I will directly use here. So let us write. So 9 times y factorial. RHS. x square plus x plus 1. So let me write here y plus 2 square plus x plus 1. So I will write in place of x I will write y plus 2. 1 is as it is minus 8 over x minus 1. So let me write y plus 1. Okay. Now if you will simplify this one. So y square plus 4y plus y. So plus 5y 4 plus 2 plus 1 7. I have written directly. Rest of the terms as it is 8 over y plus 1. Left hand side is 9 times y factorial. Now this equation is very very important. Now I will give few arguments. First argument, argument number 1. y must be greater than or equal to 0. Just by observing LHS, y, we are dealing with factorial notation only. So y must be integer. Not only integer, y cannot be negative also. So it is equal to because 0 factorial is defined. y is greater than or equal to 0 from left hand side. Now come to RHS. So this term is positive. No problem. Positive integer. Integer is most important. So it is positive integer. Now come to this term. 8 over y plus 1. Two points we will write from here. First point is y plus 1 will be always less than or equal to 8. If it is exceeding 8, then this will be one fraction. So limitation on y, y plus 1 should be less than or equal to 8 or y should be less than or equal to 7. So left hand side y positive, right hand side y should be less than or equal to 7. That means eligible values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now one more restriction. If 8 over this has to be integer, then y plus 1 should divide 8 completely with remainder 0. That means y plus 1 will be equal to, this value will be equal to 1, the eligible, 1, 2, 4 and 8 only. Check. y plus 1 will be equal to 1, 2, 4 or 8. Except these numbers. If you will put, you will get fraction. Okay. So conclusion from here, take away 1. So I can write 0, 1, 3 and 7. Overall. So we need to check the 4 values only. So our solution is among the 0, 1, 3, 7. So what we will do, we will consider this equation as it is this equation, box equation and we will put and check which solution is true. And remember what was our substitution? We substituted earlier x minus 1 is equal to y. x minus 2 is equal to y. This was our substitution. Okay, at last we will put this. So let's verify. Let's check first. 9 times y factorial. So I will write 9 times y factorial that would be equal to y square plus 5y plus 7 minus 8 over y plus 1. So I will check for y is equal to 0, 1, 3 and 7. So if I will put y equal to 0, y1, y3, 
y7. Let us put 0 factorial. So left hand side is 9. Right hand side is 7 minus 8 over 1. So it is not true. So reject it. What is rejected? y equal to 0. This is rejected. Now y equal to 1. So 9 times 1 factorial 9. LHS is 9 equal to 1. Then 1 plus 5 plus 7. 13 minus 8 over 1 plus 1 2. So 8 over 2 means 4. So this is true. So we will accept this y equal to 1. Let's check furthermore. Two values are there. Y equal to 3. So 9 times 3 factorial is 6. 3 square is 9. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 7, 22. Minus, if I will put 3, then this will be 4. 8 over 4, so 2. 22 plus 9, 31 minus 2, 29. Is this true? 54. Left hand side is 54. Right hand side is 29. Rejected. Okay. And last value is, you can say directly, 9 times 7 factorial. 7 factorial is 5040. RHS won't be matched. Means it is only 7 factorial. Then you will multiply with 9. That number will be very, very big number. You need not to check. So this will also be rejected. So accepted solution is y equal to 1. Now let's put back the value. x minus 2 is equal to y. And which solution is accepted? That is y equal to 1 is our solution. So let's put over there x minus 2 is equal to 1, x is equal to 3. Now I will check also. Let's put the value 3 here. 9 times 3 plus 3 factorial is equal to 3 power 4. 9 times 3 plus 6 is equal to 81. 3 power 4 is 81. 9 times 9. So yes, 81 is equal to 81. So that means x is equal to 3 is our true and correct solution for the given quartic factorial equation. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care.